Today we're seeing if a professional hypnotist can hypnotize 10 hoopers to shoot like Steph Curry. We're gonna collect data of the current shooting skills through four challenges. Then we're gonna hypnotize them. Johnny, I shake your hand, your name goes away again, it's gone. Your name was, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then have them complete the same challenges to see if their scores improve. In challenge number one, each contestant took 10 three-pointers from the top of the key. The group's average was five out of 10 three-pointers. Moving on to challenge number two, each contestant took five three-pointers from around the world. This is to resemble how Steph Curry takes three-pointers from everywhere. The group's average was two out of five shots made. In challenge number three, each contestant took 10 Steph Curry floaters. This was definitely the toughest challenge. The group's average was 2.5 floaters out of 10. For challenge number four, we're doing an NBA skills challenge. The contestants will start by making a layup, dribbling through the defenders, making a free throw, dribbling back through the other defenders, and making an NBA three. Our slowest time was surprisingly by 02, which took him 44.43 seconds. And our fastest time was by CY, which was 16.32. It's time to see if the hypnotist can hypnotize the players to shoot like Steph Curry and make them better basketball players. Hypnosis is not like the movies. A lot of times when people think of hypnosis, they're thinking of like the mind control of like get out or you're going in the sunken place or you're helpless against your will. Hypnosis actually taps into your natural psychology and it's very similar to a state you experience every night when you fall asleep and when you dream. Because when you have a dream, it's not actually happening, but it's so real in your mind that it feels like it's real. That's why if you wake up from a really scary dream or if you have a nightmare, you wake up feeling anxious or you wake up in a cold sweat because even though it wasn't real, it felt real in your mind. So hypnosis taps into that natural psychology where you're using your mind in a similar way that you do when you dream, where the ideas, the beliefs, the suggestions that I give you in the state of hypnosis, whether they're true or not, you experience them as if they are. And now we're gonna tap into it specifically to see how well we can improve some of the basketball stats that we just measured. But we saw all of you guys practicing. You guys definitely all have skill and talent. But what hypnosis will do, what that psychology will do, is it will help tap into that talent and bring out the very best of it. I want you all to take your right arm and put it out directly in front of you, just like this. I want you to sit back in your seat and put your feet flat on the ground for me if you can. Squeeze that right hand into a, just a gentle fist, and I want you just to look at the back of that fist. Imagine, if you will, your eyes have become like a laser beam just locked onto the back of your hand. And as you lock your eyes onto the back of your hand, allow your mind to begin to lock onto the sound of my voice. Because my voice is what will help you experience a state of hypnosis. So the more you concentrate on the back of your fist, the more you concentrate on my voice. And the more you concentrate on my voice, the more that you will be able to experience hypnosis. In a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come up to each of you and I'm going to say the word sleep. I will pull down gently on that arm, but I simply want you just to let yourself physically collapse, let yourself relax, and let yourself lock in even more on the sound of my voice. That's right, right there, and just sleep all the way down, just like that, doing great. Keep your eyes locked on that spot. Sleep all the way down. Sleep. Loose, limp, relax, letting go. Sleep all the way down. Sleep, 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 and sleep. Eyes closed. Now with your eyes closed, all I need you to do is simply focus on the sound of my voice even more. Even though I said the word sleep, you know that you are not asleep because you can and you always will be able to hear the sound of my voice. As you focus on my voice, lock into it even more. In fact, I'm gonna count down from five down to one. Each number I count down from five to one helps you relax even more, helps you focus on the sound of my voice even more. And when you reach that number one, you will be the most relaxed you've ever been. Starting with the number five, every breath that you take sends you deeper into this relaxed state, into the number four, deeper, further, into three, more and more relaxed, with every single number in two. That deeper state, go all the way now into the final number one, letting yourself Go all the way into this amazing state of relaxation. The next time that you open your eyes, you have become completely stuck to where you are sitting. You cannot get up, you cannot stand up. You are completely stuck to where you are sitting. Next time you open your eyes, go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake, guys, open. Feeling great. But notice what happens if you try to stand up out of your chair. Notice what experience you've created. Hey, yo. Notice if you actually try to push yourself out of your chair, notice that experience of, of being stuck. 
If you can stand up, that's fine, but notice how many of you are actually oh, really stuck, right? Oh yeah, you scared yourself there for a second, right? And now that feeling of stuckness goes away now and all of you can stand up easily. <laughs> Look at this dude. A little weird, go ahead and sit back down now. So all of you go ahead and take a deep breath in. Breathe out and let yourself sleep. Eyes closed back down to that state, deeper, further, relaxed, sleep deeper. Now, next time you open your eyes feeling amazing in every single way, I want you to notice that same feeling of becoming stuck to where you are sitting. I want you to allow yourself to take that same feeling and allow your first name to become stuck in your mind. Imagine, if you will, what it would be like if you completely forgot your own first name. Go ahead and let yourself, one, two, three, awake, eyes open, feeling great. I want you to notice what happens when you try to think of that name. If I said, hey, my name is Zach, your name was? C-Y. It took, it took a moment, right, but it was there. But watch what happens. Imagine that name just becomes completely stuck. Now, when you try to think of it, it's just an empty space. It's just blank. Your name was? C-Y. There, there we go, right? If I asked you your name, it was? Now, there we go, the same thing, right? It's a moment of forgetting and a moment of remembering. How many of you are still having a hard time even remembering that name when you think of it now? In fact, that name can come back now if it hasn't already, and that name returns to your mind now. So now you can remember it, right? Now your name is... Johnny. And there we go, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> but watch this, Johnny, I shake your hand, your name goes away again, it's gone. Your name was... what? <laughs> and now your name comes back, your name is... Johnny. Johnny, there we go, just like that. Bruh. Cool, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and everybody deep breath in. Breathe out feeling good and let yourself sleep. Eyes closed, go back down to that state. Feeling good and amazing in every single way. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Now we're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna try to see how, again, at the end of this experience, we'll use some hypnosis to help you tap into the best of your abilities when it comes to the basketball court, the best of your skill set. Tap into that confidence. But for now, we wanna play with the way that your mind is using this different psychology in this different state to give yourself a different experience. Next time that you open your eyes, I want you to imagine, if you will, you are half of your height. And even the basketball net, which normally would be at 10 feet, it actually seems like it's way higher. And next time you open your eyes, I want you to notice and see this experience of what it would be like to play basketball on a court with a net that is 20 feet tall. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. Eyes open. A few of you guys have some balls. Let's let's grab a few and see if shooting on these nets actually actually feels any different for you guys. That one's massive. How tall do you think that one is? 16. 16 feet. <laughs> I, I want to have a few a few of you, if you will, go ahead and, and, and see if shooting on these nets feels any different. Wait, right there, high. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> did that look higher? It did. Even if it looks good, you notice there's a feeling. <laughs> okay. This one looks taller? To me, these two do look a lot taller. I feel like I'm not being hypnotized. Yeah, same. All right, here's what we'll have you guys do. Go ahead and take a feet flat on the floor for me, if you will. Sit back in those chairs. Another deep breath in. Breathe out and let yourself sleep. Eyes closed back down to that state. The previous suggestion of the nets feeling taller earlier have all gone away. They look normal. The next time you open your eyes, I want you to create this feeling in your mind that this basketball I'm holding is actually not an ordinary basketball, but it is actually a basketball that is coated in butter. Imagine how it would feel to hold this basketball that is super slippery, coated in butter, and you can't even grip it, you can't even grab it because the ball is completely coated in butter. Go ahead and let yourself, one, two, three, awake. Eyes open, feeling great. This looks like an ordinary ball. But watch this, through hypnosis, it's actually kind of a strange, like... <laughs> what does that feel like? Not good. I feel like I need to wash my hands. <laughs> it feels normal to me. Oh, it feels normal to you, yeah? Yeah, pretty normal, yeah. I want, you, I want you all to close your eyes for me, and I want you to imagine that feeling of slickness, that slipperiness, has suddenly just increased tenfold. But make it real in your mind that those hands have become so slick and so slippery that it's impossible to grip the ball because of how slick and slippery your hands are. Go ahead and open your eyes now. And notice that your hands have gotten that slippery. If I hand you this ball, my hands feel like in water. In water, it's so strange, right? But notice what happens. How do your hands feel if you... No, no, right, no, this... no. Oh. 
All right, go ahead and pass it down. Notice that it feels even more slick, right? That's so weird. I get palm a ball and I can't. Dude, I want to be like that. To watch it, and it's strange, right? On the count of three, all of that stickiness and that sweatiness and that slickness will completely be worn off and your hands will have the normal grip that they always would and will. One, two, and three. Notice those hands now feel completely normal. Any slickiness, stickiness has all suddenly weared off. But you guys notice how there was nothing actually on your hands, but the feeling was there. And you guys notice how when the belief became so real in your mind that it like became real in your experience. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and let yourself take a deep breath in. Breathe out and let yourself go back to that sleep-like state. Eyes closed, dropping all the way back down. That's right. Next time you open your eyes, I'm gonna have you guys go back on the court and be able to experience doing some basketball through the state of hypnosis. But this time, I want you to, in your mind, think about what it was like when you were five years old. Think about playing basketball, if you even did play basketball at five years old, and if you didn't, imagine how you would have played if you were playing at five years old. Keep that same memory. Take that memory from the past and allow yourself to put it in the present. Let's get some more balls out here and let's get you okay. guys shooting again. We'll see how the, how the hypnosis changes, how you guys feel. Oh, shit. <laughs> is it me? Or is this ball head? I'm not lying, I swear to God, that ball's head. Yo. <laughs> Mitchell, bro. <laughs> Johnny, how do you feel if you start trying to dribble and shoot with it? Why is he shooting left back? I hear Johnny. Actually, let's do this. I want you to completely balance on your feet, but just sleep all the way back down. Sleep. Uh, Johnny, next time you open your eyes, you completely forget how to dribble a basketball. All memory of dribbling a basketball is just gone from your mind. Next time you open your eyes, one, two, three, awake. Here, if I were to have you maybe, maybe dribble around, take some shots, see what you can. <laughs> you made it in though. I feel like I can't let the ball go. <laughs> Dribble it. <laughs> That's not, not too bad. Watch this, on the count of three, I throw this ball back to you, and when I do, all the dribbling, all the shooting memories all return at the moment you catch this ball. One, two, three. Well, I'm not shaking. You really forgot. There you go. Like, it feels like I've had this before. <laughs> <laughs> right, now that the memory comes back, feels like you're used to it again. This feels weird. How are you feeling? I feel good. You're feeling good? How was that experience of like the five-year-old thing for you? Super fun. Let's try something a little bit different. Watch, we'll do the same thing. Go ahead and just let yourself sleep back down that state of relaxation. Sleep deeper, further. Sleep all the way down, sleep. And next time you open your eyes, before you were playing as if you were five years old, this time I want you to create the idea in your mind as if you were 95 years old, but a lot of your strength is gone, a lot of your speed, a lot of your agility is gone. Go ahead and let yourself one, two, three, awake. <laughs> what the? F hey! There you go. You got it. It's like the old dads from LA Fitness. <laughs> you still got it. You still got it. You still got it. <laughs> My knees hurt. All right, you want to try something? Uh, yeah, let's do it. How high can you jump? Uh, somewhat. Let's 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 see the vertical. Nice. All right, here's what I want to try. Go ahead and leave your feet completely balanced right here, but just let yourself sleep all the way back down. Sleep, that amazing state of relaxation. Sleep deeper, sleep further, all the way back down. And sleep. Next time you open your eyes, you are terrified of leaving the ground with your feet. You forget completely how to jump, and it's the weirdest, scariest thing. One, two, three, awake. Oh, now let's see, you were just doing a layup before, or a dunk. Let's see, see you do another one. Can you do one where you get off the ground or not? Off the ground? Yeah. Can you dunk? No. You can't? No. You just did one earlier. Yeah, no. I can't. I can only... Can you touch the rim or the net? It's like weird. I don't know. It's weird? Yeah. It's like my legs don't want to... How'd that feel? 
feel like I was gonna like fall when I came. Felt like you were gonna fall when you came down. All right, here's what we'll do. Go ahead and just sleep all the way back down. Sleep deeper, further sleep. Next time you open your eyes, that fear of jumping is now completely gone away, and you can jump. In fact, the highest you've ever jumped. You feel super confident about hitting that rim every time. Super confident about dunking. Right, one, two, three. Awake. Feeling good. You said you could only reach the net. All right. So you get a dunk off. Before you oh, said dunk? you couldn't dunk. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I want you all to go ahead and just put your hand on my hand. Stay completely balanced on your feet, but just let yourself sleep. Eyes closed all the way back down, sleep. Next time you open your eyes, Jeff has become the tallest person you've ever seen and is super intimidating to play against. One, two, three, awake, eyes open. All right, go grab these. It's a big body. Grab it. Uh, Just get it. Uh, basketball. You play basketball. Yeah, yeah, basketball. You want me to pass it in? Yeah. You just grab it. <laughs> grab it. Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Nope. Next. <laughs> Actually, here's what we'll do. I'll hand you the ball and go back into hypnosis, staying balanced. Go ahead and let yourself sleep. Sleep and sleep all the way back down. That's right. Next time you open your eyes, uh, Jeff is no longer a giant. Jeff is no longer a double shack. Jeff is completely back to normal. However, next time you open your eyes, I want you all to imagine that you have suddenly become the best basketball player in the world. You've become LeBron James, you become Michael Jordan, you become Steph Curry, whoever in your mind is the best. The next time you open your eyes, you'll 1v1 Jeff again. But this time in your mind, before you saw Jeff as being really tall, as being a giant, this time you see Jeff as being only three feet tall. He has no skill, he has no talent, and you have all the confidence in the world, and you can 1v1 him easily next time you open your eyes. One, two, three, awake. Feeling good. You guys were scared of him earlier? Who are you? Who are you? Oh my god. Oh, he's confident. I like it. Are oh, you good? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Nothing actually changed about him either time. It was all your mindset. And the way that you saw him actually affected how you played the game. It's all mental. The skill was there. Because I like to say as a hypnotist that, you know, it's all about experiencing what we believe and you can believe whatever you want. We are going to run kind of like a, a scientific trial in a way. So what we want to do is we'll test the hypnosis with you guys. For the last time, let yourself take a deep breath in, breathe out and let your eyes close. Go back to that sleep-like state of hypnosis. That's right. And go ahead and simply just concentrate on the sound of my voice. Every single word that comes from my voice and understand the limitations and the possibilities that you create in your own mind and you know with the absolute certainty in your mind how good you truly are if you miss a shot you can tell yourself that it justifies the fact that you know you're no good if you miss a shot you can tell yourself that's an anomaly because you know that you are good. Either way, it is up to you. In fact, I want you to imagine Steph Curry. Imagine Steph Curry, how Steph Curry feels, how he plays, how he moves. Every time you pick up a basketball, imagine that attitude, that confidence, that mindset flowing through you. Holding a basketball for you is a trigger that ignites this confidence. When you believe in yourself the way that you do right now, you have an even better experience to get better, and that makes you better. And when you get better, that belief becomes stronger. And when that belief becomes stronger, you get even better. When you get even better, the belief is even stronger and so on and so forth. That is the path to success. And when I reach that final number in just a moment, you'll release yourself from this hypnotized state. You'll feel this confidence. You'll own this confidence and you'll know it 
to be true that deep down in this hypnotized state, you know you've unlocked something inside of you that lets you tap into the very best of your ability, letting yourself tap into this ultimate confidence and preparing to finally release yourself from this hypnotized state, opening your eyes now with the final number five eyes open. How you guys feeling? Oh, good. Good? You guys ready to run back through that drill? You guys feel like you can beat your score from last time? Huh? All right, well, there's only one way to find out. After Zach hypnotized him to shoot like Steph Curry, their confidence was at an all-time high. In challenge number one, 10 three-pointers from the top of the key, two players from the control group shot 20% worse, and one player shot 10% better. The control group score was negative 30% as a team. But over in the test hypnotist group, two players shot 60% worse, and 1% shot 10% better. So the hypnotist shot a total of 50% worse versus the control group that shot 30% worse. This point goes to the control group. In challenge number two, five three-pointers from around the world, two out of three control players shot 60% better, but one person shot 60% worse. So their overall score was 0% better slash worse. But over in the test group, Moochie shot 20% better and Johnny shot 80% better. CY shot 0% better. So the test group shot 100% better versus the control group, which was 0% better. This point goes to the hypnotist group. In challenge number three, 10 Steph Curry floaters. In the control group, one person shot 20% worse, one person shot neutral, and one person shot 20% better. Their total plus and minus score was zero. But over in the test hypnosis group, CY shot 40% better, Moochie shot 20% better and Johnny neutralized as 0% better which was 60% better as a team versus the control group 0% better. The score right now is 2 to 1. In challenge number 4 the control group 2 players were able to get their times faster and one player got a worse time. Overall, the control group was able to cut their time down to 19.43 seconds, while the test hypnosis group was only able to cut their time down to 7.2 seconds. So this point goes on to the controlled group. In the end, the score was tied 2-2, two to two, so it's up to you to decide whether the hypnosis really does work.